Welcome to this Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demonstration. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies Curriculum. In this demo, I'll show you three very basic tasks. First, how to configure basic recovery settings, which include the archive log, setting a FRA ASM disk group as a backup destination, and enlarging the size of that destination. Then we will restart the database, view the modified initialization parameters, and configure sample backup policies. Here we are on the Enterprise Manager homepage, which is our starting page for the navigation in this demo. And we select Availability, Backup and Recovery, Recovery Settings. On the Recovery Settings page, we select Archive Log Mode so that we can take backups from an open database. Then we scroll down to view the fast recovery area. And here we want to change the parameter for the fast recovery area to plus FRA, which is an ASM disk group. And we want to change the size of this fast recovery area to 10 gigabytes. If you are interested in the SQL plus of this operation, at the bottom of the screen, click Show SQL, and you see the two commands that alter the system. You do not see the archive log mode because that is a command that is executed as part of the database restart when the database is in no mount. We click apply and you get the information that the changes have been applied and that we have to restart the database for the archive log mode. Choose yes to do it now. We have our predefined named credentials Oracle for the Oracle user as host credential. And we also have NC SysDBA points to the Sys user. I click OK. And once again, you have the opportunity to look at the SQL. So here you see that after the startup amount, the database is being put into archive log mode and then opened. So now we click Return and execute the commands. When the restart is complete, you receive a success message and you can look at details, a log file of the restart of the database. If you wish to view your modified initialization parameters, you can navigate to Administration, Initialization Parameters, and instead of viewing all of them, choose the category Backup and Recovery, click Go, and here you see the modified parameters. Next, I'd like to show you where you can configure backup policy settings. So Availability, Backup and Recovery, and then choose Backup Settings. Click the Policy tab page. And it is highly recommended to always automatically back up the control file and the SP file so that you always have an, a correct one for any recovery that you might need. Here are possible optimization parameters. We scroll down and confirm that the retention policy is set to retain one backup. I'd like to change the archive redo log deletion policy and delete the redo log files after they have been backed up one time. I also specify named credentials. If you want to test the username password, you can do so by clicking the test icon. And you see that the test was successful. So now we click OK to save the settings. We've come to the end of this demonstration where you saw some very basic backup and recovery settings. Thanks for watching this demonstration.